Previously on Burp Plays Baldur Gate 3, we found ourselves in a cave fighting a bunch of spiders. After defeating the queen spider, we found an amethyst stone that can fit into the necromancy book. After reading the pages in the book, we learn how to speak to the dead. So we set off on an adventure to talk to all the dead that I've encountered. On my way to speak to all those dead, I spoke to Zevlar and we went back to camp to have a party. Look at them all. Guzzling poison like with the right to be happy. We survived. That's always worth celebrating. Hmm. Perhaps it'll make the evening more tolerable. Think of it. No more caves. No more tents, no more running away. We'll be in a city with roads and markets and homes. Would you look at this place? All these people happy because of us. It's nice to be somewhere where good is still possible. And with good potations, too. Are you enjoying yourself? Fuck yes! I'm celebrating my freedom, and our friendship, and these folks' bright future besides. All I need now is a fire-retardant lover to get lost in till sunrise. Did you have parties like this in the Vernus? Not so much. You spend the whole time avoiding swords and schemes. Plus, people just get nastier as the night wears on. I tried to make friends at first. Learned my lesson fast. Better to keep to yourself in hell. Enjoy yourself tonight, Karlak. You too, soldier. Enjoy yourself tonight. You've earned it. Patience. Have you no respect for showmanship? Having performance issues, Ronan. Hush you, and behold! Adoring applause? You're too kind. Remember when he could barely cast that? They grow up so fast. Never have I met such troglodytes. Now, pass the wine. Are Roland and Leah actually getting along? I know you cut down a horde of goblins, but this is far more impressive. Look at them. How happy they are. We did that. I'm glad you stuck around. Me too. You're one of the good ones, you know that. Look us up when you hit Baldur's Gate. Be nice to see a friendly face. An adoring crowd, fine wine. I dare say this place is almost civilized. I take it you're happy you stayed to help? Not at all. But perhaps Leah had a point. What is the point in blades and spells if we don't use them? Though we won't need either soon. As Leroican's apprentice, I'll take care of everything. This might be the wine talking, but I'm feeling inspired. Thinking of writing my next song about you. But I need an angle. Any ideas? Have you seen this body? It would be a crime not to sing about it. One raunchy ballad coming up. Hope you're enjoying the night, hero. I certainly am. Cheers to many more like this. You know, I never pictured myself as a hero. 
Never thought I'd be the one they'd toast for saving so many lives. And now that I'm here... I hate it. This is awful. Really? Saving lives is awful? We killed some goblins to save some tieflings. The tally of lives didn't change much. But what do I get for all my hard work? A pat on the head and vinegar for wine. Pfft. Wine all you want. I'm having fun. <laughs> By all means, go and enjoy yourself. I'll be here, waiting for the sunrise. Go on. The others will kill me if I keep you all to myself. Everyone seems to be in high spirits. Strange. You know who I never thought I'd find myself caring for? Refugees? Exactly right. Never gave them much thought. Certainly not that bunch in the grove. Yet we came through for them. We saved their lives. Odd. Are you worried Shar wouldn't approve? Something like that. I was taught to reject anything that distracted from Shar. But there'll be time for penance later. Share a bottle with me? Another time. As you like. Try not to tire yourself out too much. You have no idea how good it feels to see these people smiling. The singing we could probably do without, but even so, thank you. Go on now. Don't waste a night like this talking to me. We'll discuss your problem tomorrow. I thought you might care to have a drink with me. In truth, I rarely imbibe. The stuff goes right to my head. Before you know it, I'd be breaking into song or declaring love to the first person I laid eyes on. Perhaps there's something else you'd rather do then? Hmm, <laughs> I'm sure there are. You strike me as extremely... resourceful. But there are many grateful people here who want to spend time with you. I must not keep you all to myself, as enjoyable as that may be. Go on, enjoy yourself. Seek out some wine before it runs dry. There are a lot of thirsty people around here. Goblins swarmed, but we were brave. Aha, there you are. Come now, settle in. I do hope you have partaken of something bracing. This may well take us all night. And by this you mean? Why, your naming, quite obviously. That ballad was but a crude preview, a frame without its crowning jewel. Your nom de guerre. Something iconic, but not too much of a mouthful. We don't want to exclude the common folk after all. I intend this tale to enrapture all. You have something in mind? Far too much. This is the very problem. If you could set aside your many triumphs, carry out one defining act, not to belittle your achievements today, of course, but besting a dragon, a giant, a god, perhaps. Hmm. I must deliberate. Go, enjoy your evening. I shall have work for you in the days to come. Yeah, hells. I was hoping you wouldn't notice I was gone. Are you all right? No. I'm deeply proud of you. A touch less so of myself. In truth, I don't feel in a festive mood. And I didn't want to cast a grey cloud over the night. These people are still in danger. A thousand perils will still threaten them. They aren't ready to get on the road on their own. Have some faith. Whatever happens, they'll survive it. If only faith was enough to ward off every bully of the wilds. But, off with you. This is your day. Have a dance. Enjoy the music. Can't you tell why I really followed you out here? Mm. 
You must have stumbled out here by complete accident. Too much honey wine can do that. You should watch yourself. I just wanted to check up on you, that's all. Some time alone beneath the stars and I'll be back to my old self. Promise. Still, it's a night to remember. You've made sure of that. I spy with my little eye. Nothing of note, really. Thank you. What for? I'm glad you sought me out. Amidst all this merriment, I wasn't sure we'd have a chance to speak this evening. I was hoping you'd spare me a moment. There was something rather magical I wished to show you. No thanks, Gale. I'm not in the mood for magic this evening. Too bad. One should never be afraid to live life to the fullest. I trust you enjoyed your evening. After all your efforts, it was well deserved. It may be some time before you're afforded another such night. There is much to be done, and I promised I would help you however I could. I'm certain a cure for you can be found at Moonrise Towers, but it's complicated. The journey specifically, it's extremely perilous, though it seems you're well accustomed to navigating danger. We get a cure, and the chance to hit these arseholes where they live. Sounds good. What's so dangerous about it? To get to the towers, you'll need to pass through a terrible place. A cursed place. This curse shrouds everything in shadow. You will not find life, light, or anything natural there. Any who linger are twisted by the curse. They become shadow beings, tormented, dangerous souls. What do you suggest? You could go overland, along the Risen Road or through the mountains. Easier at first, but you'll run into the Shadow Curse eventually. You could also go under. There is a tunnel somewhere in the ruined Temple of Saluna. It leads to Moonrise Towers through the Underdark. Long ago, a man called Ketherick Thorm built a secret stronghold deep down there, before rallying a whole army of Dark Justicias, Shah worshippers. Dark Justicias? I must see for myself. Aridan and his lot were looking for a way down there, they were promised riches if they retrieved a relic called the Night Song. But I think there's more. From this stronghold, Ketherick's forces could access both the Temple of Saluna and Moonrise Towers. But he was defeated before he could launch an attack. If you can find this place, I'll wager it will reveal a more direct path to Moonrise Towers. And maybe even bypass the worst of the Shadow Curse. I found the hidden entrance in the Temple of Saluna. The way is clear. Already? <laughs> if only I'd gone with you instead of Aradin. I would like to join your camp, if you'll allow me. I can offer my skills, my counsel. I've long sought to return to Moonrise Towers. It seems our fates have aligned. What about the Grove? I've chosen a successor as First Druid, Francesca of the High Forest. A bird's already been dispatched to summon her. Who? Precisely. Who indeed? You do not know, and neither do any of the others. The Grove needs to move beyond the mistakes of the past. What it needs is an unknown quantity. An outsider who can enforce the Oak Father's teachings without bias. This is why I chose Francesca. She will restore simplicity and purity to the Grove in my absence. Sounds like the Grove will be in good hands then. We should get going. Indeed. We've quite the journey ahead of us. Russ, maybe it'll bring us closer. May the darkness protect you. You seemed intrigued when Halsing mentioned Dark Justicia before. Wouldn't you be in my place? If there's even the slightest chance that Shah worshippers remain within our reach, we should try and find them. 
Even if they're all long gone, and that seems quite likely from what we know, who knows what they may have left behind for us to use? My people are nothing if not resourceful. As long as I've prayed to Lady Shah, I've wished to serve her as a dark justicia. There is scarcely a greater way to fully dedicate yourself to Lady Shah, save perhaps if you become the head of her church. To become a dark justicia is to become the Night Singer's sword arm, her implement with which she will cast down the unbelievers and win the final battle to restore her perfect, endless darkness. It's all I ever wanted. I prayed it was my calling. But Mother, forbid me from seeking to prove myself worthy of the rank. She said I was not ready. Not my mother, Mother, I should add. The Mother Superior, head of Lady Shah's enclave in Baldur's Gate. Sometimes I wonder if she would ever deem me ready. I owe her everything. And I only wish to serve, yet she can prove inscrutable. Do you think she'll ever relent and make you a dark justicia? I don't know. Perhaps if I succeed in my mission and reach Baldur's Gate. Hope has little place amongst Lady Shah's children. It's an illusion, a distraction. But for this, I hope my time will yet come. Oakfather's blessings to you. I have to ask, how do you know so much about the parasite? I studied one up close. Closer than most would care to be to those things. A drow attacked me and I defended myself. Afterwards, I was able to examine the tadpole that emerged. Hideous, but fascinating. Like nothing else in nature, I'm glad to say. The shadow curse you spoke of, surely it can't be that bad. It's had the whole region around Moonrise Towers in a chokehold of darkness and despair for years now. Those who remained are shadow cursed. If you don't die at their hands, then you become one of them. We have to get to Moonrise. But the less time we spend in its blighted surrounds, the better. What about this secret stronghold in the Underdark? You must know more. Precious little. But I'm quite certain it can still be found. Why do you want to go to Moonrise Tower? Those illithid creatures threaten the natural order. It's my duty to do what I can to stop them. There's also the Shadow Curse. It's an affront and must be cleansed. I helped overthrow Ketherick Thorm and his Dark Justicias years ago. But I failed to prevent him from unleashing darkness across the region before he was defeated. If I can join you and get close to Moonrise, perhaps I can lift this curse just as you find a cure for your infection. Seems like you feel responsible for this shadow curse somehow. Well, there's hardly anyone left to share the responsibility with. Few who witnessed the fall of Moonrise still draw breath. What Ketherick Thorm unleashed is not something that nature can undo by itself. I must do what I can. I studied the Shadow Curse for years, but to truly understand it and stop it, I must reach its source. Do you know how the Shadow Curse can be stopped? Perhaps, but we'll need to get closer before I can put my theory into practice. Put it from your mind for now. Once we near the curse, then there will be more to be said. Is this why you went with Arden? You thought he might find this route to Moonrise? Precisely. Then perhaps I could have done something about both the Shadow Curse and Ceramorphosis aberrations. But in my eagerness, I put far too much faith in the abilities of Aradin and his band. We didn't even get close. How are you faring out here at the camp? <laughs> Wonderfully. If I'm honest, the grove was too comfortable for my tastes. I felt removed from nature. I'll miss my books. But I can find all the wisdom they contain out here, first hand. Well, if there's anything I can do to make it less comfortable, let me know. I'm sure something will come to me, given time. At the celebration with the teeth things before, I hope I didn't come over too strong, got caught up in the moment. <laughs> there are few things that are too strong for me. 
and cast those regrets aside. You did not get caught up in the moment. You seized it. In other circumstances, I would have done the same. I'm glad I didn't leave a bad impression then. A bad impression? <laughs> Impossible. Those brows furrow as your minds connect. He sees the burning embers of Joaquin's rest, then Floric's face as she tells you of Raven God's abduction. Hells! Older Raven God's been taken! Yes, dwarves set fire to the inn and stole away with the Duke. Then we need to seek him out and get him to safety. You see, Grand Duke Raven Guard is my father. I know I haven't said. Our relation was no matter of pride, not least for him. Then the choice is clear. We should rescue Duke Ravenguard. Thank you. That means a lot. But I wonder, what makes a Duke of Baldur's Gate so interesting to the drow? Even the houses of Menzo Baranzin would have little use for my father. No, this is no drow plot. These absolute nutters, these true souls are behind his abduction. His absence alone will sow chaos in the city. If they were to infect him, he could lead Baldur's Gate to ruin. All the more reason to find him. The Absolute has seized not just my father, but the future of the Sword Coast. You shouldn't keep secrets like this from me, Will. I know. And you're right. When I look into a mirror, I see two faces. I see the Blade of Frontiers, a man hunting the fiends who prey on the weak and claw at the coast. And I see Will Ravenguard, a memory of a memory, a man who belongs to the past. I wanted you to know the Blade, not the shadow he left behind. Let's talk about something else. I'm all for it. What was it like to be the son of the Grand Duke? Not so enchanting as you'd think. The poor tears, the cold wells, they were the blue bloods hosting the fancy balls and drinking from gold goblets. Father's the son of a blacksmith, born with barely a coin in the coffers. He made a name for himself among the flaming fist, brave as Balderan, stubborn as a deep rofe, daring, outspoken, but hardly posh. I spent more time dueling with father than I did rubbing elbows with lords. Not to say I didn't develop a taste for good wine and the talent for courtly dance. And now you're the Blade of Frontiers. Quite a change, don't you think? Yes and no. Father taught me the four pillars of power. Courage, insight, strategy, justice. He reckoned I'd follow in his footsteps. First as a fist marshal, then as a duke. Vanquish evil, maintain order, save the world. But a duke makes bedfellows with more monsters than he slays. Father called it diplomacy. I called it hypocrisy. In the frontiers, there is no posturing, no diplomacy. I slay monsters. I don't consort with them. Well, not when I can avoid it. soldier. How do you like the upgrade to your engine? I'm just happy to know someone can do something about this little situation. Thought I was alone, but I'm not, am I? With your help and Damon's, I might be able to get a little more control over this thing. None too soon either. It's starting to wear me out a bit. Still breathing, despite everything. Well, this is it. Thanks everybody for watching. Leave a like and subscribe, leave a comment. I know this episode's a little late. I'm in Florida. I'm gonna try to bring the content to you guys in time as much as possible. See you guys later.